welcome, fellow Luigis, to the realm of Venice. Under the mighty control of Serene Doge, Jeff Money of Venice. Uh, a couple of things to point out. Number one, I was uh, streaming Dark Souls 3 with a flight stick till uh, 3 a.m., so my voice, a little bit bad today. Uh, so apologies for that up front. Secondly, we're on patch 1.1. 1 .1. uh, a few things have broken. There's some weirdness going on. Um, this episode is probably also going to be late because when I went to record it at my regular time, half the mods had, uh, had updated. Uh, half of them hadn't. So if I rolled back, the mods that updated broke the save game. And if I stayed on patch 1.1, the mods that hadn't updated broke the save game. We're in a place now where some have updated, some haven't, but it's enough for it to work. So there is still some strange stuff. Like, for example, when I right-click on people, it's transparent, which really isn't very useful. Um, but besides that, everything seems to be working as intended. We've still got our... We're still, obviously, Grand City, Grand Doge. Um, we've got all our crazy duchy-level buildings. We're still going to be able to build, more importantly, Venice... City of Light, City of Magic. So let's get on with it. So the one thing I'm concerned about, right, is the succession, obviously. Um, we've got feudal elective succession. We are a republic. So what I'm thinking is the only way I think we're going to be able to get a family member of ours to take Venice, to take the Serene Republic of Venice and roll with it, is to take a castle somewhere, to build a castle somewhere. And whoever we grant that castle to is essentially our successor, I think. Um, I don't see why not, because it's feudal elective. They'd be a feudal character, and they're related to us. So we need to take a castle somewhere across maybe maybe uh, South Italy, Sicily. We could go Croatia, kind of traditional Venice style. Um, basically, we've got to find a castle somewhere in the world. Now, it technically thinks we already have a castle. It's a city. Um, let me click it. says castle on it, but I think that's just how the mod makes it so you can play as a republic. Um... But yeah, outside of that, we're in a little bit of trouble. Um, we could swear fealty to the HRE and grab some of their land that way, but that's cowardly. We're not going to do that. We're going to probably head to, I think, probably South Italy. Um, maybe go for a Puyla or something like that. Grab one of their castles. Mainly because they've got, I mean, their troops, their troops are garbage, right? 818 plus 720. We out the bat had 2,200. So we are, we are well ahead. Let's go and fabricate some claims. Maybe just on like... I mean, we could take a Puyla. We could take the capital. If we're going big, we might as well... We might as well go for it, huh? Let's do it. Let's fabricate a claim on the capital. Hopefully, that will allow us to set the election up. If not, fuck knows what's going to happen with that, to be honest. We'll panic when we get there. This guy's got a few years in him yet. He's only 37, which I will admit is uh, basically elderly for the middle. Where's the increased speed button? Uh... I'm just going to have to use shortcut keys. That's weird. They have changed a lot of the UI as well, as you can see. Um, stress bar is now down by the character. I don't know why. I kind of liked it where it was. Um, and then you've got, you know, like weird things. Even like the main menu, they, they change slightly. I'm thinking to start off with, do we want to build smaller buildings? Smaller, more basic buildings. You know, a, a pastoral lands, farms and fields. Shit like that. So that we can start bringing in a good amount of tax. Or do we want to save Venice specifically to be fair if we do end up replacing the building it's only going to cost us like 142 gold and when you're spending 4,000 on a great harbor does that really matter um we'll upgrade this one as much as possible first because it all, it's all going to count the same um but eventually we'll flip it over so that um we'll, we'll flip it over so that venice i suppose is getting the tax buildings we'll see how far we can push it just from this duchy and then we'll kind of make our make our decision oh we got a new stewardship perk huh He's to fl claim fabrication. I would never do anything so dastardly. You monster. Who said that? Probably there's a Puyolans again. Right, give me some give me some wealth, brother. What are we going for here? I mean, Architects is obviously fantastic as our first character to get all of this bonus would be would be awesome. Um, yeah, let's, let's let's go for that one. I would normally focus on this trying to go for Avaricious, but the 10% gold we're going to be saving just from Architects. Anyway, if we spend all of our money on 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 buildings or at least the majority of that so we'll head down towards architect first and we'll see if we've got some some years left in the old boy we'll go over to uh we'll go over to avaricious from that one Bill bates impatient and rowdy oh god um we've got the choice of a martial education or an intrigue education out of both for a ruler of venice i feel like it's got to be intrigue right um Shy gives diplomacy minus two. That's not ideal, is it? Uh, although it does help with uh, hostile schemes. Personal scheme power minus 15%. So that's if we're swaying. That doesn't really matter too much if we're playing as Jill Bates money. Um, I like the idea of going into... Oh, we got... What's the other one? Gluttonous. Stewardship minus two. No, we can't have him trained in that. I'm going to go for Shy, right? We can't do personal schemes, but it will help us against hostile schemes. We could turn Jill Bates' money into the, into like torture a supreme. 
I've never gone down the torture tree fully, only to get the uh, only to get the ability to unlock, you know, the extra intrigue and the extra prowess. I think that'd be so fun taking this guy. Oh, it, it also lost impatient. Really? Was that impatient, or am I? Or was that just a childhood trait? I don't know. Um, but if we go all the way down the tree to turn him into a master torturer, that could be quite fun. I've never done that before, so I don't really know what it has, what it has going for it. Daughter. Oh wow, beautiful and quick. Um, right. Okay, I'm gonna call you Deb. Uh, Meb. Meb. Mebra. Mebra Deden. Mebra Deden. Welcome. May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. Now yeah, that was quick. Okay. Uh, let's see what you got for me then. Organized muster rolls. Lever enforcer at 100. To be fair, for an island nation that comes under attack, that's actually quite good. The last thing we want is to, for them to land before we can uh, we can get all our troops together. Okay, quite a big fan of that one. How are we doing on our claim over in Aquila then? About 75% of the way there. Oh god, I hope this works because I've really no idea what else we can do at that point. Um, I mean, what can we do? We can flip the duchy title over into... Excuse me. We can flip the duchy title over into Feudal Elective as well, but I don't see how that would help. Shit. Well, let's see what we've got then. Uh, there was a commotion among the children today. Jeevan Stobbs was attempting to preach amongst his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Jill Bates intervened and did what he could to protect him. He wouldn't do that, let's be honest. Uh, well done, Jeevan, Jeevan Stobbs. Pontificating at such a young age. You got, is it just wounded? That's fine. Fucking hell, that's more than just wounded. We once had one of his eyes knocked out. Uh, never back down for a challenge, Jill Bates. Keeps the trait brave. Um, let me tell you how you could have mediated this. Give him calm. Diplomacy and intrigue. Stress loss. Scheme discovery chance plus 10%. That's us discovering schemes, right? Um, never let anyone spite the divine like that. Oh, man, this is a hard one. Um, I mean, Brave is obviously great, but not really so good when we haven't got to worry about vassals or combat. But Calm is really good for an intrigue character. So I think I'm going to go for Calm with him there. We have been overwhelmed by stress. You know what we've got to do? We, we've got to go to the we've got to go to the brothel. We've become rackish. Jeff Bezos, sent, Jeff Bezos spends so much time at the brothel, he has become his second home. Um, we've become Nestorian instead. I feel like it's not a good idea. Try to bite my lip and stay focused, Uwu. Uh, no, let's go to the brothel. You know what you've got to do. Why do I get the feel that we're going to end up with, uh... I feel like we're probably going to end up with Lover's Pox on this one. And Turi. Oh, look at him. Beautiful and intelligent. Somebody... So there were some obviously great name suggestions in the comments yesterday. I am going through hoovering them all up. Uh, my favourite of them all, though, one that really made me laugh, was just simply the cock brother. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was just so good. Cock brother money. Yeah, I'm sure he does. How are we doing with our claim? There we go. Right. Let's go to war then. See it done. Thank you, my man, who's... The... Oh, right. Of course, we've got an archbishop. I was going to say he's really well dressed, but there's probably a reason for that. Okay. You guys have 6,700. They're allied to Capua, but besides that, I think they are just prime and ready for the castle clapping. Uh, so if you don't mind... Similar army sizes. Okay, reasonable. Let's just check before we declare that our knight situation. Terrible. Uh, thank you for checking. All right, let's go and get some more then. Did that actually go through? Uh, yeah, I, it did work. Okay, I just clicked so fast. I was confused myself there. There we are. Knights will arrive. We'll give him a few minutes just to kind of cycle in. And then we can also get another stewardship trait. Popular opinion plus 50. Um, bit pointless, but I guess to be honest, Pezzle Rods could be a bit of a threat if they both rise up in our realms. We're pretty screwed there. Um, divided attention domain limit plus two. I'm really got to worry about that anyway, but I guess it wouldn't hurt if we wanted to just go for... I mean, we could start fabricating claims all the way down the Italian coast and just picking them all up. That wouldn't be so terrible. This kid is so good. Give him diligent. Give him generous. Or give him patient. Um, patient learning, lineage, opinion, battle, opinion, hostile, scheme, resistance, plus ten. Obviously quite good. Diligent. Diligent is just so much better. Stress gain 20%. That's the trade-off this time around, though. Um, stress is quite easy to manage. I was thinking CK3, so I'm not, not too concerned with that one. Um, I eat my spinach. Spinach may taste bitter, but I eat it because I found it makes me healthier and stronger. Yeah, gig, 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 gig. I've heard rumors of a less bitter spinach from faraway lands, though. Gain the trait spinach lover. Excellent. Well done. We're coming for you, Olive. Uh, what are we looking at here, then? I mean, look at this kid. Rowdy. Diligent, calm, shy. Rowdy is obviously a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's okay. Um, rowdy children. Oh, rowdy children do better with intrigue. What? Oh, okay. Accidentally picked the right option there. My God, this this guy is going to be so good. I too cheer my knights. So this day is our honor, my dear. Um, every night gains 20 opinion of us. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, speaking of knights, how are we looking? Seven out of eight. That'll do, right? 
I know we're missing we're missing a knight there, but that's all right. We're still probably superior to him. Oh, mercenaries! Before I forget, we've got the dollar dues for it. We might as well buy something. What have we got? We've got no unique retinue types at this point. Um, Venetian arsenal, fairly famous for that. Let's get some mangonels going. Um, let's get some. Let's go armored footman. Let's go light footman. Let's go bowman. Uh, let's go light horseman. <laughs> from the fields of Venice. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, one of each. I think that's fair enough. And then we'll go for... We've had one Mangonel, yes. But how about a second Mangonel? Excellent work. Okay, we'll let those guys reinforce and then we'll head to war immediately. Name our child? What? Catla? Catla? Catla the Bold Crawler. That's a terrible name, wife. Never never speak. You're here for one reason. Right, show me what you've got. Um, right, so we've got St Stephen Bills. That's a, that's a good suggestion as well. Um... <laughs> uh, elongated muskrat, I feel like, is the... Uh, that's the obvious one. That's the one we got to save for, like, the best kid, right? Because that's the meme. we got to save the memes. Um, I, I'll be honest. I quite like Mitch Boombum. That one's pretty good. Mitch Boombum. Welcome. Even more confusing that it's our daughter called Mitch. And I'm enjoying playing as Venice already. The fact that we can just, you know, decide, oh, let's go to war, and then immediately buy six mana arms regiments is pretty fun. You can only really do that if you're playing, obviously, a, a proper king tier character. But even then, I mean, 8.5 now with our, obviously, our, our retinues are enforcing. It's, it's quite impressive. Um, let's put down a trade port in there as well. I'm just going to, I'm just going to upgrade this one fully. I, I think it's going to be able to, oh, unless Venice gives a flat bonus to taxes. Development growth, holding taxes 50%. Oh, okay. In hindsight, then. Yeah, I mean, in hindsight, I've made a bit of a, a bit of a tactical misplay there, haven't I? A bit of a stinky, stinky boo-boo. Um, right, let's put down farms and fields. Okay, let's start upgrading this then. We're getting, we're getting an extra 50% tax out of everything we build there. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to upgrade both. We've got the dollar dues for it, huh? Right, okay, how are we looking? Um, a Puyla. That's not a Puyla. That's not a Puyla either. That's Roger de Horteville. What the hell? Um, hello. Oh, you are a Puyla. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad day to be a Puyla. Um, What level are we at in terms of cultural advancements? Um, bloody miles away from the one I'm thinking of. Yep, okay. It doesn't matter then. Never mind. We're not quite high medieval yet. Could have probably told that from the calendar. Okay. Um, vastly inferior. Didn't even need our man at arms or our troops. Could have just waited for him to die and become a child. Or maybe he just aged backwards. I wouldn't like to assume. Right, here we go. Mighty Venetians. Sail on. How much is it going to cost me, though? 26 gold. Fucking hell, man. Good lord. It's going to have to be one less boiled pig's head that I can have this month. Pickled boars. Right, let's go for the... Um, I will admit, I'm not too concerned about them going for our capital. So I think we'll just... Oh, especially not when their troops are about to be clapped there as well. Um, she would never disrespect the sanctity of our marriage. I trust our wife. She's given us some some great kids. Some incredible kids. Oh, I like the new siege bar. Look at that. Wow, that's... Uh... They've, they've really changed the layout of this, haven't they? It looks a lot nicer now. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, that's impressive. I'm, I'm quite impressed by that one. Much, much nicer layout than it used to be. Was that Jill Bates? What did he become? Hang on. Jill Bates. Intricate web weaver. That's nice. 17 intrigue. To say that we weren't even training him up as, a, uh, as an intrigue character, particularly until five minutes ago. That's quite nice. And there we go. Boom. One duchy level title. Thank you very much, my friend. Or one, one feudal kingdom. Castle. That's the one I'm looking for. Castle. Um... Okay, so if we grant that to Jill Bates, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm thinking, I'm praying, I'm hoping he will be a... Shit, we can't marry him off either. Um, well, we are looking for people in our court. Um, so if we press that button, it will probably be a little, little more helpful. I'm going to go Inheritable. You know, we're still we're still a relatively small realm there. Oh, there's a genius woman. She's 28, though. Um, albino, that'd be fun. You could throw a bunch of scaly Venetian albinos. Uh, we got Intelligent. Obviously, guarantee it with the chance of being fortified. I think that's probably the right play, isn't it? Going for intelligent. Bear in mind, genius has such a low inherit chance. It'd be better to go for intelligent, fortify it. Yeah. There you go. My, sorry, intensify it. And guarantee that it'll get inherited. Do it. Okay, I'm in. There you go. One one wife for you. And then let's also... Are they married yet? Yeah, they're immediately married. Okay, good. Um, I don't know if that was betrothed or not. Let me give you a puila. And you are now count. And then hopefully... Christ almighty. Yes! Oh, it worked! He's done it. What a genius. Okay, there we are. Now, just to really ensure that the, the, the Republic's going nowhere, I think we should also try and make another kingdom title. Just to be... Like, the Kingdom of Sicily 
right for the picking. And if we can also make that one two, I think it keeps us quite safe. Because that way, if it does, if, if anything does fuck up there, we can fall back on becoming feudal. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, because Venice is now a metropolis holding. We, uh, feudal characters can hold that. It's obviously just very expensive to prevail, which is why it's, it's, you know, worth being a republic there. We'll lose a couple of holdings. Uh, like the city, it says, again, castle, but it is a city there. So maybe we should just double down on Venice and forget about this one. Because if, if, if the election doesn't go as planned, we will lose that. That'll do it. Okay, so we've got divided attention and architect. Um, it, what's the... the There's a perk that gives faster claim fabrication. Right? I'm not going crazy. Uh, let, me, let me try and find it here quickly. Not that we really need it that much, but... Yeah, there it is. Accomplished Forger. Um, let's take Foreign Affairs focus for the biggest diplomacy boost. And if we can work our way down there as we fabricate claims, I think this guy could... I, I think he could genuinely make... Sicily. Uh, as long as we're as long as we're decently fast. If we get a claim on the whole uh, Calbid duchy there, obviously in the duchy of, of Sicily, that'd be fantastic. Um, I mean, there are duchies, but they're all single bloody provinces. Like duchy of Salerno is one province, duchy of Capua is one province. Aprila would have been the biggest one to to kind of hold out on. Um, all right, we'll carry on on that one. See if we actually end up getting a claim on the whole duchy, swing for the whole bloody thing. Um, can we can ransom out seventy five gold? You shouldn't have. More money for me, you say. Um, do we want to keep investing into this just in case we do lose it on succession? Probably not, seeing as Venice is about to finish building anyway. Right, okay. Um, pastures or hunting grounds? Uh, 0.350 levies, that's a bit garbage, isn't it? Hunting grounds is definitely better. Um, and these are all quite expensive. Let's go small harbor, because that gives just the flat tax bonus. Oh, God. <laughs> um... Ransoms, you say? Okay, fair enough. We got a lot more prisoners than I realized. That's great. All right, there you go. Kick them all out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, oh, hello. Alexander, the Pope. Okay. Um, we can start exchanging letters with the Pope, I guess. I think I'll probably fuck it up, but that's all right. Tony Troubles. As Serene Doge, I've been obliged to attend a local sparring tournament, but contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for another hour. My mayor, Vassal Ugo, is here, and it always being an insufferable lout. Fucking Ugo again. Like fighting for my council, now he's been. Oh no! <laughs> ah, blank trait. I'm sure it is. Um, push Ugo into the horse's water trough to liven things up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get out of here. Good drink improves the mood. You gain in drunkard or have wasted enough time on this disaster. Yeah, drown him. Well, maybe not drown him, but almost drown him. If he drowns, that's just a nice side effect. What do you think the Pope's into then? Greetings, Serene Doge Jeff Bezos of Venice. Um, final points of etiquette. Tell me about lawmaking. Oh, I don't think he's into either of that, to be honest with you. Show my gift of appreciation. I'm not sending him bloody money. Um, let's discuss the finer points of etiquette. Well, uh, topic knowledgeable about. Uh, topics close to his heart. I mean, he's just, he's forgiving, he's compassionate. He's a good pope, actually. He's a very good pope. Wow. He's also a big, strong, muscly man. Um, finer points of etiquette. Sure, I think the pope loves etiquette. Shit, the Pope does not love etiquette. We did gain 50 diplomacy lifestyle experience, so I guess we got that going for us. I, I think it's very unlikely we're actually going to be able to get to the faster claim fabrication speed um, before either we die or before we fabricate claims and everything. Anyway, did I take golden obligations? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm almost certain I did. Um, there we are. We can designate a guardian for Mebrodeden. Um, well, educate Mebrodeden. We can demand a payment from Luigi. Thank you, my brother. I suppose chronicle writing is the most sensible one to go for. Um, oh, we're not even the cultural head. It's bloody Azzo of Lombardy, who was about to die soon, but even then. I mean, the Lombards are obviously a lot more a lot more powerful than us right now, so we're probably not going to be cultural head forever. I wish he was going into the other one, though, because that one gave us the ability to conquer duchies, I think. Um, chronicle writing? Yeah, can use individual de jure duchy casters belli. Um, and how much is it you need to fabricate a title? It's the same as... Uh, sorry, to, to create a title, it's the same as uh, CK3, uh, CK2, right? What are nine required counties? Oh, really? You need nine de jour counties. Wow. And how many is there in total? Uh, doesn't say. That's great. Um, I'll count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six duchies. Um, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, to be fair. Um, and then there's what? One, two, three, four, five left over. Like 60, 70 percent, something like that. Shit, these buildings build fast, don't they? Wow. All that development growth is insane from the Doge's Palace. Um, Military camps, hunting grounds. I'm not going to build anything that doesn't give tax. There's no point seeing we're going to tear it down and replace it with a better building. Like, look at this. Holy shit. Now all we need is... Oh, now we need this copy of how to build a well and we're good. Right. Jeevan Stobbs. Uh, I, will, I will say that the... 
the character whose name this is based on, which of course is no relevance uh, to any real person, was, was absolutely the least fickle person ever. Um, content, I think, might be appropriate. Trusting. Uh, what have we got? Fickle gives diplomacy minus two. What's he, what are we training him in? Diplomacy. Um, I suppose fickle is probably the best op option then, right? Fucking hiccups. My god. Send for my court position already. Uh, trusting gives diplo diplomacy plus two. Yeah, you know what? Okay, go on then. Let's go all in on diplomacy with Jeevan Stops. Actually, he's coming out a very, very good diplomat. Wow. Another daughter. This time, comely and quick. I'm going for Wallace Alton. Uh, may you grow strong. I guess it would be Wallace Alton, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wallace. <laughs> Sorry, daughter. How do I how do I say your name again? Chiefdom of Barry. Join me, Barry. Now, just for the chiefdom of Keith and Phil. Right, so we got Barry. Um, let's head down to Leche. Lise. Leche. I assume. Fair, but fabricating claims extremely fast. We probably don't need to worry about the bloody diplomacy bonus, do we? Um, Devrin is not my trueborn child. Sorry, Mevrodeden is not my trueborn child. I discover the truth. I think she probably is, though, isn't she? Because we've got intelligent. She has beautiful. I think she's probably our... I think she's probably our daughter. I think I think that's a safe bet. Um, yeah. I also can't have a notice. Our guy lost his beard. It's, it's gone. He had, a, he had a crazy beard, and now he's just a regular old fella. I'm not sure I like that. Hang on. Right, let's, let's sort that out straight away. Um, beard. What are you talking about? What type of beard? He had something like that. Um, oh, I like that one. Wizard's beard. Or we can have a real... A beard so long it clips through his shirt. I think we go wizard's beard. Oh, Earl William Longshpy. Dead as dicks. He was the one who slept with our wife. I don't remember. Oh, right, because his name was Longsby. Uh, your rival has died. 42 stress down there. Very nice. And we're now we're now stress-free. Is that what that little that little blue thing was supposed to represent? Jill Bates, be my successor. Thank you. Um, can I just get an alliance with Jill Bates? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, we could get a few knights. We still can't invite knights either. I think I'm just going to sit here and keep building. Sod it. I think this is, this is on par for the Venice playthrough. Right, what else are we looking at here in terms of tax buildings? We've only got the pastoral lands left. Um, sure, and then I don't think I'll build anything else. There's no point. We will upgrade the other tax buildings. Um, the other buildings might come in handy, but it, it would be better just to save up. Because, I mean, look, we're already at 581 gold. If we just demand a few more... In fact, you know what we should be doing? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You get to the HRE, and I want every secret they've got. But we can actually just straight up declare war for this one, because it's a different ruler now. Um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt, would it? Similar? Um, a lot of theirs are allies, so if we raise our troops in Aprila and just immediately move over, we can grab the war goal pretty quick. Um, and potentially take out some of their troops before their allies even get a chance to get here. Alternatively, we could upgrade our military a bit more, but I quite like having the 13.5 per gold per month coming in. Um... I mean, more knights. Uh, we, we just need more knights right now, but of course we still can't bloody invite any. Let me see if I can dig some up on the character finder here. Um, let's go all the problematic range inside. Sort by opinion. Have they added a... They still haven't added a... A join court filter, huh? That's quite annoying. Well, future DLC probably, I guess. Um, all right, let's go for martial skill, because that more or less translates. So we need to say unlanded, preferably. Uh, somewhere here is an invite to court button. Oh, he's already in my court. He's my knight. You fool. Um, my daughter, my marshal and knight, my steward, my knight, my knight. Okay, here we are. Um, Sack, will you join me? Join my court. Invite to court. No, he will not. Why? Minus 65. God, this is a pain in the ass trying to go through this, especially when the... It, it was a pain in the ass anyway, because we haven't got, obviously, the filters that we used to. Um, now the menus are invisible, I will admit, it makes it even slightly harder still. 0 0.8, and we get 1% holding tax from that one. Yikes. Uh, 0 0.5 and 10% development growth. We don't really need that, do we? I don't see why not. Sod it. That'd be quite good. Great city, centralization. Great city, plus 30%. Guild halls, small harbor, Doge's palace, holy site, Rome. Oh, wow, look at that. We could just go all in development. We don't normally do that, but it would help out quite a lot. Um, don't growth plus 10%. Okay, it's not massive when we're getting like a tiny little bit of development anyway. Another kid. Simone Money. Uh, I'm going to call you. Uh, I'm going to call you the, the Zuck. The Zuck. The Zuck Money. Oh, what a fucking name. <laughs> How many kids have we got now? Seven. I'm actually surprised. I thought we had way more than that. Okay. Um, well, let's make sure they've all got... I'm, I'm pretty sure I gave them all guardians. You've got a guardian, you've got a guardian, you're fine, you're fine. And obviously you are, you're, you're ripe, you're finished. What's our granddaughter like? Martina Money. That's all, that's a pretty good name for, for the randomly generated AI one. Um, 
two years old. She's got pressy. That's not good. Cut. Really? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not right. Intelligent and intelligent. I thought it was a guaranteed in inherit. Uh, son, I don't mean to alarm you here, brother. Son, friend. I feel like I might not be your daughter. Is that not guaranteed inherit chance? I thought that's how it worked. Hmm. Okay. Maybe, maybe not then. Look at the chaos going on down here. <laughs> I have no idea who's, who's fighting who. Um, are you in the middle of it? He is in the thick of things. Um, so he's currently at war with Prince Bishop of Tivoli. Um, where is Tivoli? Tivoli, Tivoli, Tivoli. Um, holy, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He holy warred them. Attacking the Pope in a holy war. This guy is high as all hell. Uh, Croatia is the holy war for the truth of Barry. No, 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 no. That's, that's what I want. We need to get in on this quick. Um, don't let Croatia take parts of Italy. Otherwise, then we're going to go to war with Croatia instead. Um, get rid of you. Let's put our rally point down here instead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no, no. Place, place the rally point. There we are. No, no, no. Oh. Uh, the rally points are invisible. Don't panic. Um, just, just get rid of that one. Yeah, we're good. Okay, that's fine. We got some, we got some real weirdness going on with this new patch, huh? Right, we're gonna kill just about everybody. Oh fuck! Croatia grab must have defeated him in the first battle and got him prisoner. I guess my goal is the same. How powerful are they compared to us? Mighty powerful. Okay, that is a concern. Yeah, that is a concern. Um, we we may have to go down the mercenary route. We are Venice after all, so I I'm not too upset about that. Uh. Oh. Okay. Go on then. I don't like it, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Six. Oh god, that's expensive. Hello. Right. Five thousand troops. Let's see. Let's see what damage we can do now then. Um, see if we can catch their armies before they escape seas. That'd be quite nice. Got them. Nice. That's what we were after right there. Level of splendor increased. Oh, that's quite good. Um, we could call in our son. Oh, the Pope's emailing me again. Hello. Um, okay, we'll send him a... We'll, we'll poke the Pope. Hello. Uh, Realm administration are fascinating, aren't they? Tell me about lawmaking. Well, last time, what did we bother about? Etiquette? I'm sure he loves Realm administration. I'm sure the Pope is well about that. Don't ask him about Jesus or anything. You know, the thing I, I'm, I'm pretty certain he's into. What the hell are you doing, Pope? It's him again. Is it because he's the only other independent King Tier character around? I don't know. Um, fine. Uh, let's send him another email. It's like, okay, you fucked up twice. Is your final chance, friend. Uh, no, talk to him about Jesus. Fine, we'll try lawmaking. It's popped up three times now, so I'll assume that they must know something about that. Right, let's head over to his... Get out of there. Oh, that's not Venice. Okay. Whew, I thought they were in Venice then for a second. Um, oh, he knew about lawmaking. To think you would know about a subject most dear to me. What would it... I mean, he was just. That was probably my only giveaway, but... All right, fair enough. And a scholar, I guess. Okay, fine. Um, I only wish to continue exchanging letters. We may become friends with the Pope. 46% uh, chance of 300 diplomacy lifestyle experience. And we got it. Oh, excellent. There we go. Right. Okay, that's sped things up quite nicely. Total creation cost minus 20. You're able to use the Ducal Conquest Castus Belli. Fantastic. I'm going to try and make friends with the Pope. Sod it. I think after all of our emails, we might as well try and stay on top of it. It took a long time to actually win him over, though, isn't it? Christ. Okay, troops. Please run. Please run. Be fast. We'll wait for them to finish their siege and lose some troops. And then we'll go in and finish them off. We will make those cheeks clap. Okay, go, go, go. Go, chase. No, no, no. Uh, brother, they seem to be a lot faster than me. Okay, okay, hang on. Keep diligent. Yep. Good work. There we go. Got him. Boom. Okay, nice work. Split their armies up. And... I want to avoid those if possible. So we're just going to go this way to their capital. 48 gold. A little expensive. Oh, no. My dollars. Did you see that man's shirt? Hang on, hang on. Hold everything. Stop the war. Look at that. <laughs> oh, where can I buy that? That's incredible. They just boat bombed us. They just boat bombed us and won? What? We had more troops than them. Oh, we didn't. No, we didn't. That's a surprise. Wow. Okay. Uh. Well, that undoes everything I thought I ever knew about Crusader Kings. They genuinely just boat bombed 5,000 troops into 3,500 and won. That's not, that's not very cash money. And somehow we're now, we lost one battle out of the three that we fought. And now that counts as them winning. You can get fucked. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> that's a fucking problem. Also, all my knights are dying. Let's go ahead and invite some more. Sit at home, invite some knights, just kick around for a while. Um, oh, we're stuck at home. Um, 
Only fools take for granted the gifts they've been given. Since it's here before me, I guess I can... Oh. Okay. Um, I live in... In my dream, I live in a large mansion and rival beauty. So vast it could have been built by mundane means. Could not have been built by mundane means. Okay. Um, since it's here before me, I guess I can enjoy it. Okay. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. We didn't swear the Pope, unfortunately. He needs to send us another email. All right, let's get some knights recruited. Can't afford it. Can't afford it. Can't afford knights. That'd be absurd. Uh, we could be in a little bit of uh, deep shit here. They've got this many men. Oh, they've got the Byzantines as an ally. I never signed up for that. Fine. Whatever. Let's surrender it. This is going to cost us a fortune otherwise. Yep. I mean, it's going to cost us a fortune anyway. We might as well just cut our losses here because I can't think we're going to win that. We're not going to beat the Byzantine Empire and Croatia. When we are tiny island versus most of the Mediterranean. I think we're alright. That's disappointing. Um, could also be potentially deadly as well. Force Lassilage. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go for that one. Balls. Um, fucking Croatia. I can't believe they do this to me. Okay, we got a claim here though, didn't we? So we got that going for us. I'll start fabricating claims. We, we're just going to have to keep declining it for a little while. Um, but it only sets it back by like 12 months. And I think it'll take longer than that to fabricate the claim at all. The Waki Reformation... An Oromo Somali faith. Oh, wow, that's impressive. How did he manage that? He just had enough piety. I thought you needed three holy sites. The man's only got one. Wh what? <laughs> oh, don't question it. No, no, not worth it. Even Stobbs became an adequate bargainer, but he does have 19 diplomacy. 19 diplomacy and he became an adequate bargainer. 21 diplomacy now. What are you talking about? How's our daughter? Mebrodeen coming out. She's also incredible. Uh, give her Gregarious too. She is like the best diplomat I've ever seen. King Ratomir of Croatia. You, yeah, okay. I'll exchange lights with him. Laced with anthrax. Uh, Ugo becomes my nemesis. <laughs> oh, poor Ugo. This guy turns up out of nowhere, takes control of the Republic, kicks this guy off the council, and then drowns him in a horse trough twice. Um, what do you think he's into? Tax. They're both into tax. They love tax. Tax brothers till the end. Um, we may be enemies in war, but we are friends in the business room. The bu the, the boardroom. That's what they're called. Or any any room's a business room if you do business there. As long as you as long as you point a camera at it, it's not illegal. Uh King Rasping against fifteen opinion of you. Three hundred diplomacy lifestyle. Yeah, go on then. Hey, there we go. Nice. How close are we to that faster claim fabrication? Uh oh, you know, only five friggin' perks. Steve Jobs money. Uh let's double down on the beautiful then. There you go. All yours. I should have checked that. Hang on, before before I send that through. Before I send that through, I need to confirm that does guarantee. Uh, as both parents have the trait, it will be inherited. So what the hell happened with my son's daughter? I feel like there's only an obvious answer to that. And that is the fact that our son's daughter's wife's mother, uh, daughter, is uh, doing a secret background diddle. <sighs> Martha, how do you know that name? I might have to kill her dead. Martha! Kill her. Steven Jobs money. What is he doing there? It's like he's shuffling an invisible deck of cards. What are you doing? <laughs> what is that? It's like a mime. I I still love this guy's shirt. It's like comfy, but serious. It's like you know who this man is, but quite obviously he's, he probably sleeps in that as well, you know? Right, okay, here we go. Um, Gerardo Pescatore. Welcome, my friend. Uh, and then we need something... Shit. What do, what do I prefer? Martial powers or, or or money money? I think that's an obvious one. We'll recruit you then. I can't recruit you either. Don't have the gold. Um, there you go. Done. Mayor Ugo! As a marshal, though, we can just put him on the front lines. But there's no way to not get stress. Oh, that one. Okay, so we've got 60% chance not to be stressed out. We got stressed. Wow. All but one of the options there gave us stress, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, I want to... If you don't mind. What is that? Promote culture. It's a candle now. Why? I mean, it's, I mean, it's candle there, so that just makes a bit more sense. Um, what, what was I doing? What was I planning? There was something I was doing. I don't remember. I guess it wasn't important. No, it was. We were, we were going to go do a, a, a fancy feast or something. Um, this is a brothel. 45 stress. Can't afford it. Too, too, too much. I'm the doge. Can you give me this one on the house? I can IOU or something. Let's go on a pilgrimage. It costs money. Oh, God. Why things got to cost money all the time? I mean, after this, to do a series where we play as mild carks and everything's free and everyone's happy. Thank you all for watching. Uh, 
That didn't go very smooth, did it? Bloody Croatia bringing in the Byzantines at the freaking last minute there. Not happy about that one, but hey. I don't think it was too bad. I think we did an all right job. A big thank you, as always, to our executive producers over on Coffee for making the series possible in the first place. Thanks to Bling, Magica, Juseda, Solo King, 1710, Nikki Sticks, Hoofenspiel, White Stormin, Aramis, Commissar Taj, One of Daz, Patty Pat Pies, John H, Sir Thor the Swede, Felpy, Dave Ash, Triple Agron, and Milo Eyes, along with, of course, everybody at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. Thank you to you guys. And a thank you as well to Pyrotica, Ultra Spider 2000, Prometheo, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Infectious, Number 5, Mr. Streamers, Lil Slut. Matthewson T, Mantle, Argus, Dommies, Big Chungus, Varlord, Mayo, Tempe, Akka, Theazine, Spectre, 2319, and everyone else over at Coffee for making the series possible. Thank you to you at home for watching with your eyes, uh, making the whole thing actually have a point to it. Because uh, if no one watched it, it would be just kind of sad, really, wouldn't it?